absolutely. I mean, we're, we're committed to continuing this line of work uh, because we think it's uh, incredibly promising for people with ALS and their families. I, I don't work for Amelix, but I know that Amelix is working with health authorities um, around the world to find a path, a path for patients to gain access to AMX 35, and they will share plans with the community as details develop. These are still active conversations. You know, ALS remains um, a fatal disease uh, a disabling disease. So for us as, as investigators, but also as clinicians, I mean, I follow people with ALS in the clinic uh, and I meet their families. Uh, it's incredibly, um, you know, uh, exciting to, to think that we, we've been contributing to a project that could actually uh, substantially um, impact people's lives. Uh, so I, I look forward to the next steps and, and hopefully there will, there will be, you know, ongoing conversations and, and positive conversations with uh, different health uh, authorities and, and I look forward to that over the next few months. Yeah, I think that um, because of, of the tremendous investment in ALS research uh, and, and the partnership between multiple stakeholders, as I mentioned today, I hope that there will be more than one compound uh, that um, turns out to be positive uh, and some might be targeted to genetic forms of the disease and others might be um, of broader applicability to everyone with ALS. I think that ultimately over the next five years or so, we're gonna need a combination of agents um, to basically work synergistically uh, to have uh, significant impacts. And so again, I think that um, AMX 35 hopefully will be one of these where um, you know, we have uh, a novel combination of two compounds that can be used on top of standard of care and hopefully that will be even more over the next few years until we can really say that we can stop or reverse the disease. That will be the best news ever.